What's up guys, we're here in the MiG-19 today. Um, I've heard some rumors going around that the MiG-19 has had, uh, I don't know, a couple of changes, um, adjustments to its flight model and things like that, so I wanted to bring it out and give it a try. Um, it's been a long, 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 very long time since I flew the MiG-19, so we're going to see how she fares in a dogfight here against the F-5. Now the F-5 should prove to be a formidable opponent for the MiG-19. F5 should be far better in the one circle, but we'll see about that into the merge. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to try to keep him in the two circle. And the vertical, I think, should also work well against the F5. I might actually be able to get a shot here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think I hit him there. He did not expect to get hit like that, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't expect to hit him. <laughs> that, was, that was luck. I just fired because I wanted to scare him off. I didn't want him to point his nose at me. Um, but it does appear that he may be disengaging from the fight here, or he's pretty damaged. All right, so I formed up on his wing here. He did try to disengage from the fight, and we'll see what he wants to do. This is uh, Supreme here flying the F5. Form up on his wing here. We'll be nice and let him go. He gives a little wing rock. All right. Alright, we let Supreme go last time. I don't think it'll come to that again a second time. In fact, that's pretty rare to have somebody disengage from the fight. Um, Alright, so basically, um, from what I know, the MiG-19 can actually outrate the F-5. The MiG-19 will get 18.5 degrees a second at 430-ish knots. Uh, convert that into Russian units and you get about 800 kilometers an hour. Uh, into the merge here. All right, once again, we're gonna go for the vertical. Worked well for us last time. It looks like he won't be following me into the vertical like last time. May have learned his lesson, but he is going to try to get nose on here. There's some rounds. Just avoid that nose. Now the AOA capabilities of the MiG-19 should have gotten a little bit better with the, the flight model update. Um, it used to be horrific at pulling its nose up. Um, it, it should be, rightfully, the MiG-19 should have that problem, but not as much as it had it before. It feels much smoother now, and actually feels like it may have better AOA capabilities than the MiG-21. It kind of feels that way. But regardless, the AOA is still not good enough. It's still not going to be as good as the F-5. And uh, for that and a couple other reasons, the F-5 is going to be superior in the one circle fight. So it's not really where I want to be against him. Now keep in mind, as long as he has altitude to play with, he can try to force a one circle fight, the rolling scissor, the flat scissor, uh, all terrible for the MiG-19. Um, but if I can just stay out of his nose long enough to drag him to the ground and rate fight him down there, I'll be golden. If he starts rate fighting me here, I'll rate fight him, I don't care. That's even better for me, but he'd be kind of dumb to do that. So 
I uh, think that this fight's gonna basically go like this. I'm just gonna loop around him, avoid the nose at all times, and slowly but surely this fight will drag to the ground where I will then outrate him on the deck. Uh, that's the plan anyway. He can actually get about 17 degrees a second to my 18 and a half degrees. Uh, he's gonna do it at about 460-ish knots, 450 knots. Um, again, I'm at 430 to get my max sustained turn rate of 18.7 degrees, giving me about a 1.5 degree a second advantage over the F5. Now, as you can see, he is struggling to not rate fight me, and we're just constantly looping around here, and we're almost more into a vertical fight. And you can see he's trying to get nose on. He's, he's trying his hardest here. But I'm just climbing over his nose every time. And just trying to drag him into a raid fight. And we're getting closer and closer to the deck. Alright, so we're now on the deck, and he is now committed to the rate fight with me. And keep in mind that the AOA capabilities, or lack of capabilities in the MiG-19, will actually make it difficult to take high aspect shots in the rate fight. Um, so I, whether you like it or not, the, well the right thing to do is always to go for the low aspect shot, as we've talked about. But in the MiG-19, you really don't have much of a choice. Uh, you almost have to push to the low aspect shot because uh, you can't really pull your nose in front of the bandit, at least not the F5. Uh, so that's what I'm going to try to do here. We're going to try to outrate him. Now remember these two aircraft are extremely close in terms of sustained turn rate performance. Um, so this could be a very long fight. And you see me now just keeping him above the canopy bow here. Uh, this is called the assessment window. I'm basically flying lag, maintaining energy, and slowly rating to a low aspect uh, situation behind him, which would be called the control zone, which we've talked about in the past. And so when I tried this fight in the MiG-19 in the past, uh, I don't know, six, seven, eight months ago, um, the MiG-19 was horrific against the F5. It, it got absolutely decimated um, against the competent F5 pilot who knew what he was doing. Um, but I feel like now it can kind of hold its ground and it flies a little bit uh, better. It flies more like you would expect an aircraft to fly. Um, the AOA feels a little bit more realistic and uh, it's more forgiving. Uh, still gonna punish people who don't know how to fly it correctly like myself. <laughs> But uh, it is more forgiving than it used to be in the past. So that's good. We've got him dragged into the HUD here. I'm working slowly to pull the lead I need. Here we go. And into the sun. Actually, I can't see. Oh, wake turbulence. He did a nice job dodging it there. And he wants to pull us now into a one circle fight. But I think he may have lost visual here. Just guessing from the way he's maneuvering. And that's a hit. I hit something. And that's the wing. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Keep in mind the MiG-19 doesn't have a whole lot of ammo, so you gotta make those shots count. 
All right, big thank you to Supreme for flying the F5 for us today. Put up an excellent fight.